I've spent a few months with the Acer Predator Triton 300 SE, a fantastic thin and light 14 inch laptop from Acer that packs a punch with an i9 12900H, 32 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3060. Now I would say that my one complaint off of the configuration is that RTX 3060. It just feels a little underpowered matched with the i9. I wish it had a little bit more GPU punch for the creator tasks such as 3D modeling and After Effects. If you look at the 3D modeling benchmarks, they were good, but they definitely could have been better with an RTX 3070 Ti. You can see Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks. SolidWorks, because this isn't a workstation GPU, kind of falls off the chart. We'll just ignore that one. But the first three were pretty good, but I feel like we could have had an even better performance in 3D modeling with the RTX 3070 Ti. Now, it would have added to the price quite a bit, um, and so that's why I'm guessing they went with this more affordable GPU in this system. Now, keep in mind that for 6K video editing, the RTX 3060 was great. You can see in 6K B-RAW for dropped frames, we only have 822 dropped frames for 6K B-RAW, which is fantastic. Now, if you're considering 4K video editing, this laptop will crush it, have no problems, you'll do very well. If you're considering this laptop for something like Photoshop work or After Effects, then the i9-12900H is absolutely killing it. And so if you're thinking, should I go for the 12th gen model or wait for 13th to come out, you'll have no issues with 12th gen. I would look for this laptop on a deal, uh, get the 2022 model on a deal rather than waiting for the 2023 model. That would be my personal opinion. Now they are launching a 16 inch and an 18 inch model from the Predator Triton series. And so that could be something pretty interesting and I can't wait to get my hands on one of those to give it a review. I actually should have one in the studio to at least host out an unboxing of that model. So definitely subscribe and ring the bell. And if you haven't, definitely do so. Definitely subscribe and ring the bell because we're gonna give you giving away three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros once we pass 100,000 subscribers. Now, one thing that did annoy me was you couldn't upgrade the RAM on this laptop. Now you do have access to one M.2 drive if you want to go ahead and upgrade that to say like two terabytes. But if you get this laptop with the set RAM, that's where it's going to stay. Now this one does come with 32 gigs of RAM, which to me, is plenty of RAM for video editing, Photoshop, After Effects, and 3D modeling. However, if you so wanted to upgrade it, you cannot. So it is soldered to the motherboard. Now it does have a shorter battery life on the uh, gamut of battery lives. It's got about seven hours of productivity and about six hours of streaming video playback three hours of Photoshop battery life, and two hours and 42 minutes of Premiere Pro playback video editing battery life. So honestly, I wish the battery life was better, but just with the Acer command center, mixed with the i9, mixed with the RTX 3060, it just isn't amazing. But compared to a couple years back with laptops getting like four hours in streaming video playback, it's good. It just isn't great. Um, just just so we're clear on that aspect. Now, the awesome thing about this laptop is you can actually get it for around $1,200 right now on bestbuy.com. And if you're curious about the exact live pricing of maybe all the different configurations and models, I'll put links in the description. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. So this model that's on bestbuy.com is uh, outfitted with 16 gigs of RAM. So that's about $1,199. If you're looking for the 32 gig model, it'll probably be around the $1,399 to $1,599 range. And that's all with the RTX 3060. Now, if you wanna get the RTX 3070 Ti, last I checked, it was about $2,100 for the RTX 3070 Ti version. So the question is, is it worth that to you? As you've seen on my full review of this laptop, it does well, it has good performance, but for 3D modeling and maybe After Effects work, that extra pump in the GPU would be helpful. Now I would say punch for punch, this is the best built Acer laptop that I've been able to have my hands on. It fits so nicely, bottom cover into the side panels of the chassis. This aluminum material is fastened so well to the bottom cover. It passes the tap test very well. It's sleek, it's got a great design aesthetic. Definitely compared to the Acer Predator Helios 300 that I feel like they never redesigned for like five years. This thing kicks booty. I mean, it just, it's really, really well designed. It looks sleek, edges are nice. It has a good feel to the touch. You open up the laptop. It has a nice keyboard deck, 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen. Now it does have that cheaper plastic bezel hate that to be totally honest. I wish they would do a much nicer plastic material here in the bezel, maybe just a gloss finish or, or just something. It just, it just feels a little cheap there, but everything else 
is put together very well. And as far as Acer laptops, for the performance that it packs, like I said earlier, it is one of the best as far as the thin and light on the go capabilities. Now the screen on the Acer Predator Triton 300 SE is way better than I expected when I first started my review. It has 100% sRGB, 99% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3, all in a Dell TE of 1.21 and 418 nits of screen brightness. And this is a screen resolution of 2880 by 1800. So it's crisp, it's color accurate, and it's bright. So this laptop has a lot going for it at around right now that $1,200 price point. Um, so it's definitely one to be considered. It's hard to find a laptop of this power at that price point. Now, I just re-double checked. Keep in mind, that's the i7 version that's on sale for $1,199. So it's an i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 3060. But again, like I said, I'll link up more options in the description below so you can check out all the different price points and go ahead and purchase the one that you're interested in or you know, at least just check it out. Remember, don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna reach 100,000 subscribers and kick off the giveaway of these Legion 5 Pros. I'll see you here in the next video.